Okay, so I've been making YouTube videos for about eight months now. Eight months ago I started this channel with the idea that I'll just keep uploading something every now and then with the intention I learn and over time get better at making videos. I don't exactly know if I'm succeeding, but you know, slowly, slowly, slowly I'm getting some subscribers, one subscriber per video or something, and you know the views mostly correlate with, with that. There's a whole bunch of things that I've learned over the past eight months, and I think it's just worth sharing them with you to... Okay, so let's start. The hardest part that I can think of when it comes to making the video is actually the story. Coming up with a topic that is interesting to somebody and then executing on it well, in a way that you have the beginning, the middle, the end, that the story is easy to follow, that I'm not getting lost in the middle, that everything is clear. This by far is the hardest aspect of, of making a video. Right? It's not the technicalities of editing or, or capturing the image or sound. This part is by far the hardest. A good story is what creates this gigantic gap between people like me who are barely starting and you know established vloggers who create content that is you know, easy and interesting to watch regularly every time. The technical details like making an image look good or recording good sound are much, much simpler. Okay, as far as those two go, recording sound is an order of magnitude harder than having good image. I think a part of it is, comes simply from the fact that we're so used to taking snapshots and photos today that we've learned how to make good image and we, we just do it almost instinctively. Uh, but we're not so used to working with microphones. The environment I'm in right now, which is the kitchen, has a lot of reverb and I'm sure you can hear it, which is not going to come out good in this video. And to some extent it's you know, my conscious choice. But if I wanted to record a good sound here as a one-man band, you know, I would have to wire myself with a level your microphone or maybe have like a stand with a boom microphone from here, it, it gets complicated compared to just taking a camera and just putting it on a tripod there and, and mounting something on top of it. Also, you know, there's a lot of random sounds like the dishwasher right now that just finished and is announcing that you know, the dishes are ready to be picked up. Finally, there is this very interesting aspect of just you being comfortable with the camera. When you're having a conversation with somebody, it's easy. You see their face, you see how they react, you see when they smile, you see when people get confused by what you said. Here, you just don't have that feedback. This feedback simply does not exist. All you can do is record yourself, look at the video, and you know, try again if you didn't like it. You can, I, can, I can make as many takes as I want, but there's also a problem with this. When I make a take and then I review it, to me, it's clear what I wanted to say. So the only feedback I get is from myself, and that's not a very objective one, and not a very, not a sleeve and a very good one. So it's so much easier to have a conversation with a human being, or you know, even being on stage in front of a hundred people, where you can judge from the behavior of the crowd, you know, how many people are sleeping and how many people are engaged. In the case of a video, you have none of that. Yeah. So these are my three main things that I've learned over over past some time. Telling good stories hard, capturing sound is difficult, and the lack of immediate feedback is makes it hard to be natural in front of the camera. Oh, I'll, I'll add one more thing on top of that. There's also this property of the cameras. I mean, like, you know that cameras add you know, a few kilograms, right? It's, it's sort of an established thing that when you see somebody on a picture, they look more fat as if they were in person. But there's also another thing. The camera removes like 30% of energy. It, it really does. I have to be overly animated and super relaxed and you know, incredibly excited to come across as borderline natural. I don't know where it comes from. I don't know why that is so. Maybe it's, it's simply the artifact of the feedback loop that I'm missing, but, but that's what I found. Um, I don't exactly know how to end this video, so I'll just leave it at that and I'll be back next week with hopefully something interesting.